Hello, hello everyone, this is GamerCat09, and welcome to Coffee Talk, Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. I have been eagerly awaiting this game for a while, and it's finally here. We loved Coffee Talk, at least I really loved Coffee Talk. So this is kind of part two of it, or episode two. Um, maybe there'll be more episodes to come. The characters are so enjoyable, the atmosphere is great, just everything is perfect about this. It's a wonderful, calm little visual novel of uh, some kind of fantasy monster world, just, and we're kind of like working in a Starbucks, essentially. So everyone get your drink of choice. It doesn't have to be hot, it can be cold. And let us begin. A game by Togue Productions. Seattle, 2023. Ooh, I have to do a thing. A city of enduring loneliness. A place where the dreamers, the realists, and the wary are striving to thrive and not just to survive. It is a time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive. Fair, fair. It is a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness. For the right to be acknowledged in a society rife with judgments. Acceptance is a battle, and identity is a luxury they just began to grasp. Many who are feeling lost turn to their screens to find their footing, and the world becomes fast-paced with increased connectivity. Whether for work or pleasure, for a little encouragement, or simply to escape. It is unclear whether or not it helps or further isolates them. As some look for answers off the beaten path, seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights, in the night blooming coffee shop standing between the rainy streets, they'd find a small rest respite through a cup of warm drink. And these are their stories. Coffee talk. Why is it always raining? Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. Holy shit, we're in the future. It's only April of 2023 right now. It's crazy. The evening whispers. Massive job loss as large companies move out of state. What's next? Seattle West Precinct Police are losing a record number of officers in January. Social experiments skirting between entertainment and menace. Start the day. Ooh. I guess this will go on for a while. Who's our- Ooh, it's the officer! Officer Georgie! Welcome! Evening, cat. What's cracking? Aside from the thunderstorm outside, that is. I'd say the power lines. Probably. Yeah? What about them? Oh. That's a concern. The power has kept going on and off all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. That bad, eh? Sorry. I'll take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. I guess our resident writer, Miss Green-Haired Fairy, isn't here tonight? You mean Freya? The one and only. Unless she changed her hair color, then my bad. <laughs> it's still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh? Why? She's currently on a research trip for her new book. That's so. At least that's what she told me. That's too bad. The evenings won't be the same without her. No kidding. I admit, it's been pretty quiet around here. But it's good for her to escape the city once in a while, to have some time to herself. I agree. Ugh. 
Not looking too good, huh? Yeah, but I've already notified the City Lights Department. They said they'd monitor the area just in case. Don't worry, Cat. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. Your lighter? Uh-huh. Got it from my grandfather. A lucky charm of sorts. Never failed us in a pinch. Not even once. Unless you need it lit up for longer than ten seconds. Then you're on your own. It's the thought that counts. Don't cops usually carry flashlights around anyway? Oh, we do. But where's the thrill in that? Sounds like you need a vacation too. Do I ever? <laughs> Goodness, finally. Thanks for waiting. I can take your order now. Great. I'm already done for the day, so no more coffee for me. Oh, no midnight patrol then? Just for tonight. Roger that. In that case, would you like to sample our new tea selection instead? We have hibiscus and blue pea available. Hibiscus and blue what? Uh, blue pea? It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. The color is really pretty. Huh. I had no idea you offered alternative stuff, Cat. No judgment here, just saying. Alternative what? Oh. It's pea, as in pea. <laughs> you thought it was like urine. <laughs> Oh, and not whatever else you thought it was. Got it. Whoops. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Still remember my golden rule? Of course. No dairy for Officer Georgie. Correct. I'm sure you have all this info written down on your phone already. I want to say yes, but some of my notes went missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago. Whoops. Better write down everything you can remember, then. Speaking of remembering, Freya actually left me something for you. That's so. All right. Then I'll have one of your new teas. I'll leave the choice up to you. Just keep it simple. Ooh. Okay. Um, I don't remember what I'm doing. What is this? Oh, Georgie. Oh, they have a baby? They have a new baby! Oh, Georgie's got a baby! Oh, give him the pee. Story. Uh, Bailey's. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my god, Rachel! Look how fucking cute they are! Oh, I missed all of these people. Two hour delay, not a problem. Oh, Freya. Okay, let's go to brew pad. Let's do a tea. I don't know what I'm doing. These are all coffees. Okay, so green tea. All right, let's try the, the blue tea. Okay, so base tea. And then um, oh wait, reset. So tea, no wait. Wait, is that? Yeah, it's blue pea. Um, cinnamon? I don't know. Uh, dark chocolate, green tea. Everything's undiscovered. Um, there's hibiscus. this and this. No milk for him. Uh, 
Uh, then I'll go to the toilet. I, I guess? Does this look like it? Cinnamon blue pea. Okay. So I did give something. Better give Freya stuff to Officer Georgie now before I forget. Give item. And then put that there. Proceed. Serve it. Cinnamon blue pea. There's no milk because he can't have milk. Oh? A postcard, eh? Is she bragging at me or something? Oh, hmm? Huh. What is it? It appears she left me a message. What does it say? Nothing for you to worry about. Okay. Anyway, thanks for this. Give her my regards. You're welcome and I will. Alright, here you go. Wow. Is this stuff really safe to drink? What's with the color? I assure you, it's completely safe to drink. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing with you, cat. He doesn't like it. It's surprisingly mild, huh? Usually people put lemon in it. I change color, too. It changed color, too. Really? Yep. Unfortunately, I'm out of lemons. Didn't have enough time to get any from the store. It's fine. I remember my youngest showed me a video of something like that. You know... She's really into new AG health stuff. I remember she made me a drink from blue algae or something to lower my cholesterol, she said. Problem was, it tasted like dirt. I still drank it all, though. Nice of her to think of her dad's health. Yeah, she's swell. Between you and me, though, I'd, I'll stick with coffee. But this one, I don't mind at all. Maybe I'll ask her about it later. Thanks. You're very welcome. What a storm. Got somewhere to be? I'm supposed to be home by now. My youngest has just finished all her makeup exams. Makeup exams? Yeah. We found out that for some reason or other, she's been neglecting her studies. Oh, the youngest. So the youngest isn't a baby. That's an old photo. Okay. So let's just say I had a few things to say about that. How did it go? It was a disaster. Oof. She pulled through in the end, right? Yep. Except we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. Sorry to hear that. Anyway, the missus planned to celebrate a little tonight. Making all the kids' favorite dishes, having her sisters over for dinner and all that. So I'm buying the dessert pies as an olive branch of sorts. Sounds like a good plan. But as you can see, I got no pies and I'm nowhere near home. Because of the storm. That and my car's busted. All the value cores removed and tires deflated. Ooh, what? How come? It just so happens my car is the latest victim of a vandalism spree. That's a whole other thing going on. Rest easy though, we're on it. For now, I need to find a way to get home fast. You can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me to have no questions. Holy! Who's this, who's this, who's this? <gasps> it's you! I forget your name, but it's you! By Zeus, what a disaster. Welcome. Hey, what's shaking? Evening, Pops. What's up? Thunderstorms, obviously. Touche. Gods, isn't the weather just awful? It's like someone up there doesn't care about their water bill or something. Oh wait, is he a new character? Why did I think he reminded me of somebody? Maybe he is a new character. I'm glad you're open, though, else I'd be super soaked by now. Happy you made it in time. Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up? That'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas, by the way. And you are? My name is Kat. And the gentleman over here is Officer Georgie. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Pops. Can I call you Pops? Fine by me. Sweet. Uh-oh. Miss is calling. Ah. Alright, be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. See ya. So this is a new character. So, can I get a cafe latte? Sure. Or maybe not. Yes? You know what? I'm not sure. You tell me. You're the pro. Um. Okay, okay. Hear me out. You see, I used to like coffee. 
Heck, I loved espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. Like, really hate it. You know what I mean? Right. Anyway, milk helps take the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. But I still just miss... I miss just coffee, you know? That's why I'm wondering if you could suggest me something. What is it about coffee that you miss? The caffeine, of course. And just the overall boldness, you know what I mean? Am I making sense? Have you ever tried matcha? Nope, but isn't that just green tea? Yes, but much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Then one matcha for me, please. All right, so you want some matcha. So that's, um, I think it's the green thing. Matcha. Green tea, green tea, green tea. Okay. So, green tea, green tea, green tea. Brew. So, a milky coffee. I'll try it. Cup of premium matcha coming up. Mm-hmm. Man, it's super green, huh? Let's try it. He doesn't like it. What do you think? You know what? It's pretty good. It tastes a little grassy, though. But I kind of like it. I'm glad it's to your taste. I wasn't sure if you enjoy it as is. Why wouldn't I? Some people find the taste a bit too intense when it's served straight like this. Well, good thing I like intense, because it makes up for the fact I'm really not. Anyhow, looking forward to your future recommendations from now on. I'll do my best. So he liked it. So does anyone ever come here? What do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? But there's like no trace of your place anywhere. No tags, no mentions, nothing. What's up with that? Oh, maybe our crowd isn't as big as your usual coffee shop since we open quite late. That makes sense. What time do you close anyway? We're open until morning. For real? That's pretty heckin' late. Do you turn into a secret bar after like 2 a.m. or something? If we did, Officer Georgie over there would have a few things to say about that. What? That's no fun. Are you guys on social media at all? Not the coffee shop coffee shop itself, no. A late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey, that means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course. Stay as long as you'd like. Sweet, thanks. I can give you a shout out on my stories if you want. Your stories? Here, let me show you. Look at that. He took the photo and posted it moments ago. That was fast. Oh? I was going to tag your place here. I do have an account there, but I haven't seen this feature before. Oh yeah, it's a pretty new thing on Toma de Chill. Toma de Chill, huh? You can check on people's updates now. Just open the stories tab inside your app on your phone once in a while. Better check it daily though, because the stories only last a day. Oh, stories. Look at that. Like. Ooh, look at. I woke up so refreshed today. I think I'm going to. I think it's going to be a good day. What to do? What is this? I don't know. Checking the catering service. Oh yeah, they're getting married. Okay like that and then that's our friends filling up your time 24 7 okay who knows maybe you'll find some juicy info on your customers there that's a bit hey i'm just saying people will post anything kidding i'm usually more active on my tube channel anyway but hey since you're here want me to tag you instead <laughs> no, thank you. But I'm curious. What do you do exactly? Your posts already seem to have a lot of reactions for a new feature. 
Right, I guess you can call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts. I report on the hottest trends. On the hottest people. On the hottest places. And everything else in between. Wow. Does that mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? Do you want it to be? Sure. For the right price, you can. Aw, never mind then. Just kidding. My manager decides what I endorse. They help me keep... They help keep me on brand, so to speak, since they said I can get too crazy sometimes, whatever that means. Oh, lordy. Welcome back, pups. Thanks. Is everything all right? Kind of. The missus is not happy. Uh-oh. Maybe I should try calling a cab. What do you think? I'd save my minutes if I were you, Pops. Not good, huh? Been calling them while I was still on the lookout earlier. One and a half hours later, here I am. There were no cabs around my station either. Did you try ordering online, Pops? Did you not see my phone? The only ordering I could do is gnome noms from around the corner of my house. <laughs> Touché. Well, on the bright side, our power seems stable for now. Watch it go out. Yup. I saw that coming. W Whoa. I retract my statement. <laughs> For what it's worth, it held out much longer than I expected. You're right. Want to borrow my lighter then, Cat? A tempting offer, but no thank you. I'm going to check on something, though, so I'll be right back. Sure, good luck. Hey, you alright? Yeah. Everything's speechy. He's afraid of the dark. I just... Eh, I just don't like being in the dark so much. What? You scared of the dark, kid? D duh! You never know who might jump out at you. But we're in a room. Still! Do you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I do night patrols all the time. If I can grab him, I can handle him. In theory? I don't know how to feel about that at all. Oh, shit. Huh? D did you hear something? What? Oh, someone's gonna go and spook him. Oh. <laughs> I swear I heard something just now. There she is. Holy fuck! <laughs> I love her hair. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Whoa! Who are you? Hi? Uh, uh, I'm back. Sorry about that. Everything should be good for now. Oh, great. Welcome. Can I place my order? Of course. What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have all the usual fare. Coffee, tea, and herbal drinks. I'd like something soothing for my throat. For, and for my mind. Tough day at work? If you have no particular drink in mind, mind if I suggest trying our new blue pea latte? Blue pea latte, hmm? Could you make it pretty? I'll try my best. Okay. One blue pea latte with art, please. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, do I have a recipe for this yet? Blue. No. Blue pea latte. So that's blue pea. With milk. And then... Is it brew? That's what? That's milk, Blue Pea! green tea latte, but blue pea. Oh yeah, that's a good point. So 
so it's green tea milk milk ah okay so blue milk milk Brew. you can tell how much i have fancy drinks blue tea latte let's uh oh uh, shit uh um, edge. I'm always terrible at doing this. Invert. This does not work. Um, I, I don't know. Sure. Now it's an anchor. It looks like an arrow. Honestly, I, it's, it's, it's totally, it's fine. Everything is totally fine. Look at it. It's tie-dye. I've made it tie-dye. Hold on, let's reset it. No. I see. I don't know why it just goes. <laughs> Customer has already left. <laughs> Listen, I am not good at this. Eh. Eh. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Look how pretty this is. Oh, yeah. You'll never taste something as pretty as this. If all else fails, just do smiley. No, I like this. This is cool. Done. I did it. I made it. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Here you go. <laughs> Where'd my mouse go? There we go. Oh, God. It's blue? Yes, but rest assured, it's all natural. I see. It's pretty. Thank you. Did you like my art? My fantastic art that I spent so much time? How do you like it? It's good. Thank you. You are very welcome. Is the power okay now? Yes, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now we can just wait until the storm's over. Well, about that. The news said the storm will go on until midnight, the very least. What? Would have been nice if I had my car. There are several road closures due to flooding also. Well, darn. So basically you're saying we're stuck. Afraid so. At least for a little while. I'm in deep trouble. What's wrong with your car, Pops? Yeah, you didn't finish explaining it earlier. I have questions. <laughs> Just didn't want to alarm you, cat. His tires got flattened. For real? Yep. There's been some vandalism going around recently. Somebody keeps removing valve cores and deflating tires from parked cars around the West Precinct. Huh. Why? Maybe someone's a collector. Or got too much time on their hands. No clue yet. Anyhow, our station lot was getting re repaved. So a few of us had to park outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone's car get affected too, Pops? Nope. Just mine. Oh. That's so weird. You're so chill about it. Yeah? Maybe because there's no real damage done other than wasting my time. Although my co-workers aren't so cool about it. The recent mass resignations have left us severely understaffed. Additionally, companies are moving away due to the tax hike, so there are protests happening. Which means tensions are high all around. That doesn't sound good. Don't I know it. Anyway, we caught the culprit on CCTV. So I'll be looking into it starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get 
any crazier in the meantime. Could it just be a prank, Pops? You think so? Yeah. With what's been going on lately, the suspicion would land elsewhere, right? So the culprit may think they won't get caught. Are you speaking from experience? If I say yes, would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. Harsh. But I'm serious. Prank videos are like their own genre online, you know? People watch that kind of stuff? Oh, yeah. It's all about cheap thrills, Pops. And a good way to make money, too, if you play your cards right. Oh? The crazier your shtick is, the more views you get. Which means more ad money. Lather, rinse, repeat until you push them just a bit too far. Then you get the nuke and everything will just go poof and disappear. Won't stop anyone from doing it all over again, though. Because really, all you need to get started is a camera phone and Wi-Fi. Everything else comes down to timing and luck. God. That sounds, like, seriously accurate, honestly, what kids do nowadays. is As long as they can get fame on the internet, they'll do something stupid. You sure know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. Oh no, my manager would kill me. His face. Joking. Anyhow. A high-risk, high-reward opportunity with a low entry barrier. Sounds like something else. Oh yeah. Anything goes for views. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Oh? It's a long story. Been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long time now. What's wrong with it? Well, the views are declining, for one. Why? Not enough pranks? Harsh. Nah, I, have, I haven't done those things in a long time. Not that I ever want to get back into it. Anyways, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. Because people don't like change? That's right. Yet they get bored easily, too. Today's good might be trash tomorrow. So it feels like I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. You make it sound like the continuity of your work depends on the audience's whims, kid. I guess you could say that. Why? <laughs> She's been listening the whole time. Pardon? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I was unable to avoid overhearing you. It's alright, I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? Do you think the audience is always right? Of course not. Then why place so much emphasis on what they want? Why must you follow their whims? I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even ten or a hundred. Still doable. But to influence the opinion of thousands? Millions? Not so easy. So my belief is, if you can't fight them, join them. Then change things slowly from the inside out. There's no way it can work. No? Why do you think that? My apologies for not providing context. You don't have to, I was just curious. Considering I intruded, it is only fair. I admit that I am not a big fan of online activities. I find people's conduct there very loathsome. That's a strong word. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online. In preparation for my audition as a soprano. Oh. A soprano, really? That's cool, can I see it? <laughs> I took it down. Aw, why? I believe she's getting to it, kid. Right, okay. It was something done out of necessity. I recorded the reel using my phone at home, since I have no previous theater experience to show. It was not of the highest quality, I admit. Even so, I did post it to a video site, mainly to add the link to my applications. Though I am not sure if it helped at all, as my attempts have yet to yield results. Right. However, 
One day, my application received an unexpected response from an auditioner. It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What did they say? They highly recommend that I moderate my video's comment section. So I checked. Uh-oh. It was a lot. What happened? The comment section was teeming with plenty of strong opinions, if they can even be called that. What? There were a lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and to take my video down because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. Oh, is she a siren? She's a siren. That's her thing. That's why she looks, why she looks. She's a siren. This makes sense. <laughs> this makes sense. Ah. What's with that nonsense? Others questioned my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice. Many others also wanted to know who and where my handler was. Since there's no such thing as sentience for us banshees. Oh, she's a banshee, I suppose. Banshee. Okay, kind of the same thing like a siren, but slightly different. Banshee. Aha. That's real effed up. That's horrible. Even with the Vindication Act in place, those POS still exist, huh? That's a piece of shit. The Vindication Act? A global treaty to recognize the sentiency and rights of non-sapients. Sapient refers to any species as intelligent and bipedal. Like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings, you know the type. Huh. Yeah, like even us satyrs. Satyrs? Got added pretty late in the game too, you know. Uh-huh. Oh, but shouldn't you fit the bill right away? Yeah, but we're all born male. And we didn't really have the best reputation either. Anyway, it took a while for us to finally get recognized by international law. Since the further you are from the likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. So I'm sure it's been way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Still doesn't make it right. But I get it now. You're disdain for the internet. I'm impressed you seem very chill about it. I don't think chill's the right word. Chill? Do I look chill? Uh-oh. The light. But how can you be chill? Oh my god! When such blatant disrespect is thrown in your face like that! Whoa! Holy crap. Don't you wonder what gives them the right to be so vile? Who do they think they are? Pray tell, what do they feel when they commit such offensive acts? Do they derive some sort of perverse pleasure from others' suffering? The audacity! I can't! I can't! I see the, anim the anonymity that I can't say the word of talking through screens. Has afforded people the comfort of disrespecting others without suffering a direct hit to their face for it? Is she the one that's causing the storm? Is she it? Is she the storm? Damn it, not again. Just a second, please. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Georgie Ross! <laughs> oh, oh, oh man. Oh, thank goodness. Hmm? Uh-oh. <laughs> he moved! He didn't want to be that 
It's just not right. That kind of behavior is just not right. I'm sorry. I've gone too far. It's all right. I admit, I just don't want to hear what the audience, that the audience is always right. Because that means my dream has run aground before I can even try. How about if I help you? Ooh. Look, I get what you're going through. As a, sa as a satyr, satyr, I had to deal with plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down to justify their own inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you this. You've got what it takes to turn the tables on them. How? Easy. You gotta sell yourself. Whoa, kid, slow down. <laughs> I might be lax, but I still work for the law. No, Pops, not that kind. Honestly, I don't know how much about the opera- I don't know much about the opera scene. But I know sirens dominate a huge chunk of the soprano roles, am I right? Yes. It's as if they were made for the role. Oh, so that's why I assume siren. Exactly. So this is a case of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which means, no matter what you do or how hard you try, you'll always be an outlier. Therefore, if you just compete based on your skills alone, sorry to say this, but you probably won't make it. Wait, hear me out. You got one awesome thing all those sirens don't have. A story. A uh, story? Yeah. Imagine, a banshee who dreams of becoming a lead soprano, or whatever it is you wish to do on the stage, pursuing her dream in the midst of all the sirens, despite all the odds stacked against her. Isn't that a great narrative? He's got a point. But you haven't even heard my singing yet. Have you? I'd love to, of course. But honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. What? Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Most people will just scoff at it because of their own dumb assumptions. Which is exactly what we want. And then we'll blow all their expectations away. By putting you on stage. What stage? And how? Don't worry, I have my ways. No matter how you sing, everybody will be surprised seeing you there. And that's when you'll get your time to really shine. What are you talking about? No. What? Why? I just want the chance to properly sing. To show what I'm made of, regardless of what I am. I know, and I'm offering you a possible way in. No offense, but all of this sounds like you're just... It's as if you're trying to sell a caricature of me. Of course not. No way. But ouch, that kind of hurt a little bit. I'm sorry for being rude. But I don't know you. And you don't know me. Mm. So how am I supposed to consider everything you said? When you don't even know my name. Well, if you've been doing, if what you've been doing had worked at all, I would have asked your name already, don't you think? Hey, I don't know where you're going with that, but I think you went too far, kid. The hell are you talking about? Ah, crap. Hey, look, I'm, uh-oh. The storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Right, thank you for coming, Miss... Riona. Miss Riona, we hope to see you again. Our conversation certainly took an odd turn. So let me make this point. 
for all the words you spoke earlier, I feel few were actually intended for me. Mm. Take care. Have a safe trip. And she's gone. Uh, sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't say, kid. This old man is still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh, man. Don't know what came over me, Pops. I get too hyped up sometimes and lose my cool. Sorry, just a sec. It's my manager. The road closure is over, so he's picking me up now. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I could drop you off wherever, no problem. Thanks, kid, but it's alright. I'm sure the cabs will start rolling around soon. You sure? Yep. Alrighty. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming. We hope to see you again. Yeah. Hey, cat? Yes? No, it's nothing. Okay then, see you soon, cat. Pops. Have a safe trip. Hmm. Well, that was a show and a half. No kidding. Feels like I'm ready to just call it a day. <laughs> as soon as I get my cab, I'll get out of your hair, cat. Oh please, you know I don't mean it like that. Not gonna lie, though. Listening to those two got me thinking for a little bit. About? Me and my youngest daughter, Missy. Maybe I was too hard on her, but I don't know. When you are a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. It's always a fine line to tread, for sure. Yup. Uh-oh. It's the missus. You know what? I think I better go. At least if she hears the rain outside, she'll get less mad at me. Please try not to get sick. Kidding, but I better go, though. You take care on closing, cat. Will do. Hope you get a cab soon. Thanks. See ya. What a start. I made two drinks. <laughs> Oof, what a day. Better clean up and then, huh? What's this? An old metal lighter with an interesting design carved on it. Hmm. Someone must have forgotten this. Better keep it safe over here. It exudes an interesting feel. Oh, that's his old lighter. That's the cop's lighter. Okay, now let's wrap this up. That's the cop's lighter. Tea. Silky but spicy beverage that soothes furious emotions and brings dormant joys back to life. It's always raining here. September 20th, Wednesday. Also, it was... September 19th for the first part, right? That's my husband's birthday. Um, future of dating. How AI may steal your potential mates with increasing increasing sentiency. That's a meme right here. That's a meme. Morris Lester's conviction stands after appeal rejected. The controversial motive behind an ex-fire agent's investigation. A deep dive. Weather seems better tonight. Hmm? Welcome. Who do we got? Who do we got? Ah, hi, Lucas. Hiya. Hello, sir. Back so soon? Hell yeah. And there's nothing you can do about it. Wouldn't have it any other way. Duh. Good to know. Okay, so what you ordering? Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Kind of. Maybe. 
Okay, I knew it was a long shot, but low-key? I was kind of hoping the lady from yesterday would be here again. Hi, Key. Oh. You're my first customer today. I can see that. I know it's silly. I mean, what are the chances, right? I just want to apologize properly, I think. I'm still not sure what came over me. But never mind for now. That's not the only reason I'm here anyway. But dang, Cat, this place is really empty, huh? Right now, yeah, that's about right. The regulars typically show up around two or three hours from now. Yeah, Pops too? You mean Officer Georgie? Yep, he's a regular, right? Right. Not every day, but he does come around that time as well. I see. Then wouldn't it be better to open a few hours later? True. But new customers tend to drop by around this time. Ha! Huh. You got me there. Either way, it works out for me. Because I'm here to do some work. Oh? I might be on hiatus, but I still gotta post a bunch of stuff. So, got some editing to do. If you need a power outlet, there's one near the wall under the table. Sweet, thanks. However, there's no Wi-Fi here. What? What is this? The Ice Age? Maybe that's why this place is so empty. Maybe. I'm joking. At least your brand game is on point here. Brand game? I mean, this place is called Coffee Talk, right? So I thought you'd say something like, We're all about talking, not surfing. Or something like that. No? Honestly, I never thought about it that way. But that sounds legit. Sure, why not? Haha. <laughs> In that case, you can transfer the tagline royalties to the link in my bio. The licensing fee is free, since you're so cool. Thanks? Joking! Anyway, guess I better get a move on over there, huh? There we go. Now I'm ready to place my order. And I'm ready to take your order. What would you like to have tonight? Hmm, I've got to stay fresh and awake. So maybe a cafe latte? Oh, no, wait. Can you make me a custom drink? Like a cafe latte with lots of honey? I mean, a lot of honey. Like a whole beehive of it? Well, I remember tasting more honey than milk. So might as well. Can you try making that for me? I'll do my best. Great. A cafe latte with lots of honey, please. Oh boy. Oh God, I got so much stuff. Okay, cafe, latte, cafe, so it's coffee, milk, milk. So, um, coffee, milk, and then honey? milk honey coffee? How do we... How... How do I put so much honey with it? Wait. So it's... with lots of honey. But I can only do... three... tea honey honey? Oh, primary. Wait. Order matters? So the base is... And coffee upsets his stuff. That's right. Order matters. So how about... Tea... do tea and then the primary is honey and then secondary well he wants a latte so it would have to be milk right for it to be a latte so order does matter
Honey milk tea. Wait. You had the correct ingredients before, but just wrong order? But he can't have coffee! I'm so confused what to do! <laughs> if I request help, I, I will accept help. Because I can only... I can only do this a few times per chapter. I can only trash it a few times. He needs milk with coffee. Okay. So. That's the lighter. Um. Coffee honey milk? So the latte is coffee milk milk. So it'd have to be coffee honey and then milk? A being buzzy. That sounds cool, honestly. Um, it looks so cute as is. Yeah, I said okay if I asked for help, and I had asked for help, so this is fine. I asked for help, so I'll allow it. But, yes. Uh, let's try that. Here you go. Lots of honey. Thanks. You even made it look so fancy. Now, time to give this a try. Cheers. How is it? Super. This is exactly how I remembered it. I'm glad it's to your taste. Actually, it's not. This is too sweet, even for me. But it's something I drank a lot back in the day. Gives you lots of energy when you got nothing else to eat. Huh. What is it? So you had them in place of meals. Kind of, yeah. I, uh, didn't have a lot of spare cash back then. Heck, I couch surfed a lot. <laughs> Until I eventually moved into my old group's house. But anyway, yeah. Sure, takes me back. Oh, uh, sure takes me back. Hmm, what is it? I was thinking maybe that's the reason you can't handle coffee anymore. You think? Yeah. As much as I love coffee, drinking it to replace meals isn't really recommended. Even with lots of honey? Even with lots of honey. And milk. Milk too? It all turns into acid in your stomach. Oh. So, not great if that was all you had. Right. That makes too much sense. What a bummer. Sorry. No, no. You just solved one of my life's biggest mysteries, probably. So thanks for that. As long as it helps. Now I can't look at being buzzy the same way ever again. Oh boy, here we go. Hello there. Oh my god! They're back! What a nice surprise. Long time no see you two. <laughs> Hi, cat. It's been a while. How have you been? We were in the area, so we thought we'd stop by. I'm glad you did. Right. It's not like you were trying to change the subject or anything. Hmm? Uh-oh. Look, Aqua. All I want for you is to reread their terms carefully. And I just want to know if you'll still help me if I accept. I mean, it's all just hypothetical anyway, right? The way you're talking about it doesn't reflect that. And it really bothers me. Um... Okay, I admit, maybe I got a bit too excited about it. 
But putting that aside, I just want to know if you're in this with me or not. B because I'm really feeling it this time, Myrtle. I really want this game to be out there. Yeah, they were working on the game development. Although we're not even halfway done with it yet. And about the terms, I mean, who knows, Myrtle? Maybe those are just what I need T to motivate me to work harder. And we could complete it. Motivate you, you say? Ha! Huh. That's just pure recklessness. You know that? Aqua, I know you're not. Look, let's just give it a rest for now, okay? Okay. Oh. Oh, this is weird. Ahem. Oh. Hey, cat. Hello. Sorry you had to see that. No, no, it's fine. We were in the middle of something. Sorry for the hassle. It's really, really fine. Honestly, I'm just glad you're both here. After such a long while. So, can I get you anything to drink? Yes, just give me a moment. Um, Take your time. How about you, Miss Myrtle? I'll have a spiced milk tea. Spiced in what way? Some cinnamon would be good. Or whatever you think is better. Okay. I'll have one spiced milk tea. Okay, so spiced milk tea, spiced milk tea. Da, 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 da. I don't know how to make spiced milk tea. Um, so how about a tea? And then some cinnamon? And then milk. See if that works. Bean juice gathering. Cinnamon milk tea. Uh, I would give latte art. Let's do a pour milk. We'll do. Okay, so we have like a big fat cloud okay and then here right here we're gonna do the ground and then there's a tree and then there's gonna be a house with a roof and um, we're going to put a bird. There's a bird. There's another bird. Bird. Done. That's a good tree, actually. <laughs> I read spiked milk tea. She said cinnamon, so I'm serving her cinnamon. I don't know. Cinnamon milk tea. Here you go. I gave you cinnamon milk tea. I gingerly present you a spiced milk tea. Thanks. How do you like it? I'm not sure. Feels like it's close, but this isn't it. Are you looking for a particular drink? Yep. Although I forgot the name. Nope. Oh, never mind then. On second thought, I think I'll pass for now. If that's okay with you, Cat. Of course. Not feeling up for a warm drink tonight? No, it's just... I might have to leave soon anyway. Work's piling up? Yes, but it's fine, really. I just need to free up some time so I can work further on my game. Your game? Oh! The one you got showcased at G... Gax... Something... Is it Gaxpo? Right, Gaxpo. That's the one. 
Cool. I heard it's hard to get showcased there. So you must be really good. Oh, no, no. I mean... Um... I couldn't have done it without Myrtle's help here. For real? You got, like, an insider entrance or something? Oh, God. Awkward. Awkward. Oops. Sorry for butting in. One of my crew members is super into gaming, so I hear about it all the time. Anyhow, don't mind me. Please continue. She got interest from one of her favorite publishers. Is that so? Yes. At Gexpo, one of their reps came up to my booth on the day Myrtle couldn't make it. I had to stay behind in the hotel to fix a mess in my company's files. Yes, it was too bad. I was really nervous on my own. Anyway, the rep and I talked about my game a bit. They seemed interested, and there was talk about publishing my game. Ah. A at the time, I thought they were just being nice. <laughs> but they actually emailed me a draft of their contract last week. Sounds like great news. Uh-oh. Am I wrong? Well, I was ecstatic at the time. They are one of my favorite publishers, after all. Right. But... Not to break the non-disclosure agreement or anything. The terms weren't too great. So you do get it. And, by the way, you haven't signed any NDA yet, so you're not bound to anything. That's true. But I still want to act in good faith. What for? Their terms were the furthest thing from acting in good faith. If I may ask, what terms are we talking about here? I'm sorry, I'm just a bit lost. Right, sorry about that. To sum it up, they're going to invest in the game and cover all the necessary expenses. They'll do the marketing, promotion, and distribution and all that. Okay. But if I'm unable to meet their deadline or refuse to adhere to the requests for changes, or breach any of the stated agreements in the contract, many of which are rather questionable, I must return all of their money, regardless of my progress on the game. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, don't do that, Aqua. What? It won't be cheap at all, mind you. I can only imagine. If I fail to do so, they'll have full ownership of the game. Oh man, do not sign that. I don't know what to say. That can't be right, can it? So what if they are the ones who breach the contract? I get to keep my game. Okay. That's it? Oh, no, that's not all. I have to return any of the unused investments, too. What? This sounds... Awful! I hope she doesn't take this. That's what I said. Pardon me, but are they for real? I said that too. There's still plenty more, but, uh, it's alright. I think I got the gist of it. When I first read it, I thought, maybe the terms are this way because it's still a draft? I suppose, yes. I also thought maybe it was something that could still be worked out and discussed. That is, until I asked Myrtle for advice. I see. It's a trash contract, Aqua. I know, I get it, but it's just, I just kept thinking, you know? What if this is how all the contracts are? What if this is the best I could get? It's not, though. But what if? Listen to your girlfriend! <laughs> Will you still help me, Myrtle? Or not? 
is that really what's important here? Right now? Come on, Aqua. I know you're not this dense. You don't trust me? I trust you. But you don't even try to see this from my point of view. Because I think we're talking about two completely unrelated matters. That's what I mean. I may not explain what I want to say well, but it's not unrelated. I just... I think I'd better leave now. I have a presentation to prepare for tomorrow anyway. Okay. Are you going to be alright? I think so. Safe trip? Yeah. Bye then. Come again soon. Oh, Aqua. Is it just me or does this feel like deja vu? Just me? Okay. <laughs> so I guess Lucas is like the Freya of, of this game because we don't have Freya currently. Are you all right? Yeah. Hey, I'm still a bit curious about the drink earlier. Could you remake that one for me? I just remember it's from Yemen. Yemen. The spiced milk tea? Yep. Spiced milk tea with a bit of cinnamon. Ah, oh, the fucking fuck. So it's with ginger, I imagine, right? So it's tea, ginger milk. Probably. Instead of cinnamon. So, tea, ginger, and then milk. Ginger milk tea? No. Um, so Hmm. This now it says spiced milk tea with a bit of cinnamon. I did tea, cinnamon milk the first time. Hmm. Then the bee and buzzy matcha. Try switching? Switching what? Do tea milk and then cinnamon? Coffee milk. She wants tea though. She wants a tea, not a tea milk cinnamon? milk, then cinnamon. That's different. What does it say behind your- wait, what? What are you reading? Oh, okay. Um, serve it. Shy, shy a Denny? Shay a Denny? Try this. God, that is so weird. One shy a Denny sashaying it. 
Thanks. Enjoy. How is it? Good. I think you nailed it. Glad to hear that. That's so weird that just switching the order of the ingredients makes it different. You get the recipe if you make it. Okay. You said shy a Denny, right? Yes. I put a little cardamom and other spices in it while still making it cinnamon forward. So it lives up to the spiced part at least. Right, so it's a spiced milk tea after all. I remember now. It's from a documentary Aqua told me about the other day. What's the documentary called? Hmm. Overflowing warmth, comforting beverages around the world. <laughs> Watched it yesterday while pulling an all-nighter. Oh. Quite relevant to my interests. Or, quite relevant to my interests. You should check it out. Plenty of interesting stories in it. Including off-the-wall drinks, despite the name. Who knows? You might get inspired by it. I sure will. Thank you for the recommendation. Thank you for making the drink. I just got so frustrated when she kept asking me hypothetical questions. Hypothetical questions? Such as? She asked if I'd still be willing to help. Should she accept something like this in the future? What kind of question even is that? It's as if she doesn't trust me. Or anything I say, for that matter. I don't think it's because she doesn't trust you or your expertise. From her perspective, everything feels like a potential chance. So to be faced with a questionable contract like that, from her favorite publisher, no less, she may very well be just feeling a little shaken up. That's a good point. <laughs> it keeps butting in. But I'm with her, right? She has nothing to worry about. Even so, she may still worry. If she's that worried, why don't you just say something like, Of course I'll help, but only if the terms aren't so crappy. That should do it, right? Unless you did and she's not convinced, then I don't know. <laughs> Muriel's just like looking at him like, the fuck? Like, who are you and why are you including yourself in this? Lucas, just, just butt out, just butt out. I thought, if I tell her that, and she decides to go ahead with it anyway, I know for a fact I won't be able to refuse her at that point. Oh, I see. Besides, we already agreed from the start, only work on the game when we have the time, so... Basically, you're not sure if you want to commit. What the heck are you talking about? Or maybe not. Maybe you just can't? Sorry, my mouth runs faster than my mind sometimes. Oh my god. Did anyone ever tell you you're nosy? All the time. <laughs> Seems like you got yourself a weirder version of Freya here, cat. See? I told you. If you put it that way. Hey, I heard that. Who's Freya? I'm leaving. Alright. I hope everything will turn out well. We'll see. Have a safe journey home. Yup. Goodbye. Oh, oh bye. <laughs> He's really asking to get slapped. Phew. What a night. And I didn't get anything done at all. That's too bad. Was that like a regular occurrence here or something? Not them specifically, just like, in general. Well, you seem used to this. So the answer is definitely yes, right? Not all the time, but often though. Cool, cool, cool. So that's the real reason why this place is called Coffee Talk, huh? You make people talk. I do? Well, feels like this whole place does. Heck, even I talk about myself a lot more than usual. Which is kind of weird. But also weirdly cathartic? I'll take that as a compliment. I think. You should! It's a feature! I reckon there's more benefit from talking things out than having to get things smashed first. So let me... 
check stuff first. There's Aqua. Oh, she's so cute. Lucas again. There's Riona. Oh, she's so pretty. And Myrtle. Working on Full Metal Conflict series. Nice. Let's check stories. A day off. First time in for in a while. Gridlock traffic on I-5 through downtown. Avoid if you must. Good morning. Look at him. He's so cute. Oh, he does have the, the freaking goat legs. That's cute. Okay, I approve. So wait, what is... I'm trying to get rid of these notifications. So we got that. Okay. What am I missing? There's still... Oh, this one. Okay. There we go. More embarrassing to remember, sure. But great for self-reflection. Good point. Anyhow, before I forget, could you hold on to something for me? Huh. A fidget spinner? With a social media handle printed handle printed on its back. A fidget spinner? My old business card. If the lady from yesterday comes again, could you give that to her? You mean Miss Riona? Yes, Riona. I mean, I owe her an apology, you know? And I couldn't find her online with just her first name, if that's even her real name. I thought maybe you could pass that along with my info to her, so she can DM me? Also, in this form, it's less likely to get thrown out, right? Uh, right? It really depends on the person. Wow. That's, um, that's a business card, alright. Throws fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she'll throw it away? Yes. Honestly, I can't really say. Oh, now you're making me nervous. Can you give it back? I might need it right now. Uh, sure. No, it's fine. Keep it. I need to keep my resolve. How about writing down your email instead? I will feel a bit more... It will feel a bit more personal that way. You think so? I thought she'd be more comfortable about contacting me if it's less personal. That's why I figure her DMing me would be better. But then again... Hmm. Nah, you're right. A direct line would be better here. But what if she throws it away? At least you'll have sincerely tried. True that. Alright. I'll trust your judgment, cat. Piece of paper with Lucas's... Toma... Toma da chill. Tomata chill. Tom, to, how do you pronounce it? Tomata chill? Username and phone number written on it. An influencer's contact info. Fidget spinner. In that case, could you please give it to her when the time seems right? If she even comes back, that is. I'll see what I can do. Alright, sweet. Thanks, cat. You're the best. Aw, oh, man. I better go before the rain gets worse. See you around, cat. Don't work too hard, okay? Thanks. Safe trip. Take care. Whew, what a day. Man. Spanish Sahara. That looks like an interesting... Looks like a churro. But also very... Um, Penisy. <laughs> 